Hello friends, this video pair of linear equations in two variables part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 6. We know the equation of this form a1x plus b1y plus c1 is equal to 0 and a2x plus b2y plus c2 is equal to 0. Two general formal equations. We know those equations. Okay? Pair of linear equation of two variables. Now let's find the relationship between a1, a2, b1, b2, and c1. To do this, let's take this scenario. Here I have taken equation and I'll try to plot this. x minus 2y is equal to 0 and x minus y is equal to 0. Now what I'll do, I'll get this xy here x and y. So for equation 1, this is equation 1. For equation 1, I am getting xy. If I put x is equal to 0, y will come out to be 0. Correct? x is 0, y is 0. If I put x, uh, y is equal to 1, x will come out to be 2. If I put y is equal to 2, x will come out to be 4. Because x is nothing but 2y. So it will double x will be double of y. So we got 3 values. Similarly for equation 2, if you find x minus y is equal to 0, both x and y will be same. So if you put x equal to 0, this becomes 0. If you put x equal to 1, this becomes 1. If you put this is equal to 2, y become. So this we have this values. Now we can plot this. So let's plot this. 0, 1, 2, here also 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. The first point is 0, 0, this value. 2, 1, x is 2, y is 1, this value. 4, 2 is this. Let's plot these points. This is my graph. Correct. Now for graph 2, x is 0, y is 0, x is 1, y is 1, x is 2, y is 2, x is 3, again y is 3 only. So if you plot this graph, this graph will plot like this, it will come something like this. So if you see these two lines meet at a point 0, 0, correct? So we can tell that this equation is intersecting and has unique solution. Please make a note of this. We will use this to prove the relationship between a1, a2, b1, b2 and c1, c1. Correct. Now let's take the second scenario, second example. x plus y minus 3 is equal to 0 and 2x plus 2y minus 6 is equal to 0. So for this also, let's try to plot the graph. So let's have this x, y. For equation 1 I am putting now. So if I put x is equal to x plus y is equal to 3 actually. So if I put x equal to 0, y becomes 3. x is equal to 1, y becomes 2. x is equal to 2, y becomes 1. And x is equal to 3, y becomes 3. This is my plot for x plus y minus 3 is equal to 0. Very simple. You can just put the values and find the values. Similarly for this also if I find x, y. If I put x equal to 0, what I get? y is equal to 3. If I put x equal to 1, I'll get y is equal to 2. If I put x equal to 2, I'll get y is equal to 1. If I get x equal to 3, I'll get y is equal to 0. I can prove this if you want. If I put x equal to 0, this equation becomes 2 into 0 plus 2y is equal to 6 or y is equal to 3. Correct? If I put x equal to 1, this becomes 2 into 1 plus 2y is equal to 6. So 2 can go this side, which becomes 4. So y becomes 4 by 2 that is 2. If I put x equal to 2 here, 2 into 2 plus 2y minus is equal to 6. So this becomes 4, 4 goes here, this becomes 2, 2 by 2 is equal to 1. So three other values we have got. So let me plot this is equation 1 and let me plot this in 2. Correct. Now x is equal to 0, y is equal to 
this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, right? x is equal to 0, y is equal to 3, this point, x is equal to 1, y is equal to 2, this point, x is equal to 2, y is equal to 1, this point, 3, 0, this point. Here also same points. So you see both the lines are overlapping. See both the lines are overlapping. If you draw, both the lines are overlapping actually. Correct? You can see this, both the lines are overlapping. So we can, here we can see that these are coincident and infinite solution. Please make a note of this. this is coincident and infinite solution. Let's take one more equations. x plus y minus 3 is equal to 0. 2x plus 2y minus 4 is equal to 0. People who are not able to understand, please bear with me for the last equation. I'll try to show what I'm doing. So I have taken these three equations and all are different kind actually. The first was intersecting with unique solution. The second is coincident with infinite solution. This, this solution, this equation will be actually a parallel equation. There will be parallel and no solution. No intersecting. So and so I'll try to prove something now. So before doing that, let me try to find the value of x, y in this equation. So if here x minus x plus y minus 3 is equal to 0, this is similar to this equation. So I can use the same value instead of uh, writing it because this in this equation is same. 0, 3, 1, 2, 2, 1, 3, 0. Same thing, what I have done here, same thing now. Second equation is 2x plus 2y minus 4 is equal to 0. Let me plot the value for this. If I put x is equal to 0, y will be 2. Because this 0 plus 2y is equal to 4, so y will become 2. If I put x is equal to 1, y will become 1. Because it will be 1, 2 into 1 that is 2. Write it once again plus 2y minus 4 is equal to 0. Correct? It become y is equal to 2y is equal to 2, so y becomes 1. I'll take normal value. I'll put x is equal to 2, so this becomes 4 plus 2y minus 4 is equal to 0. Cancel, so y is equal to 0. So I've got this points. Let me plot this. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Here also is 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Correct. First is 0, 0, this point. 1, 2, this point. 2, 1. x plus y is equal to 3. This is, this is 0, 3 actually. x is 0, y is 3, this point. 2, 1 and this one. And 3, 0 is this point. These are the points we have for x plus y minus 3. Let me join this point first. So if I join these points, I'll get a graph like this. You see, this is my graph. Now let me plot the graph for the next equation. 0, 2, x is 0, y is 2, this point. x is 1, y is 1, this point. x is 2, y is 2, this point. Let me draw the graph. So if you see, both the graphs are parallel, both the lines are parallel. That means this is a case of non-intersecting. This is non-intersecting and no solution. Now I'll use these values to derive the relationship. Please make a note of this. We have taken three equations. The first equation turned out to be intersecting with unique solution, intersecting with unique solution. Second equation turned out to be coincident with infinite solution. And third equation turned out to be non-intersecting and non, uh, no solution. Now let's me draw this table. These are the three equations which we have used, three set of equations, three or three pair of equations which we have used in the earlier slide. If you see, x minus 2y is equal to 0, x minus y is equal to 0, x minus 2y is equal to 0, x minus y is equal to 0, first equation x plus 2y minus 3 is equal to 0, 2x plus 2y minus is equal to 0, 
x plus y minus 3 is equal to 0, 2x plus 2y minus 3 is equal to 0, x plus y minus 3 is equal to 0 and 2x plus 2y minus 4 is equal to 0. So if you see here x plus y minus 3 is equal to 0 and 2x plus 2y minus 4 is equal to 0. Same equations, right? First we have seen that in first case it was intersecting and algebraically it had one solution. In second case we observed that it was coincident. Let me write this. It was coincident. Correct? And it had infinite solution. Infinite solution. In third case we saw that the lines were parallel. Right? That is graphically equal parallel and algebraically no solution. No solution. This is what we have observed. Now we also will see this is the equation if you see of this form a1x plus b1y plus c1 is equal to 0, a2x plus b2y plus c2 is equal to 0. Correct? So now see, let us find a1 by a2. A1 is 1, A2 is 1, that is 1 by 1. B1 by B2 is minus 2 by minus 1, that is 2 by 1, because minus minus is cancelled anyway. And C1 by C2 is not there, you can ignore it. In this case, A1 by A2 is 1 by 2, A1 is 1, A2 is 2. Here it is 1 by 2 again. Why? A1, B1 is 1, B2 is 2, C1 is minus 3, C2 is minus 6, minus 3 by minus 6, minus minus cancel, 3 by 6 is 1 by 2, this is also 1 by 2. In this case, A1 by A2, X by Y is 1 by 2, because A1 is 1, A2 is 2, Y1 is 1, Y2 is 2, also 1 by 2, and C1 by C2 is nothing but minus 3 by minus 4, minus minus cancel, 3 by 4. So what we have seen, this is minus minus cancel 2 by 1. So in first case we see that this is not available. A1 by A2 is not equal to B1 by B2. Correct. That is a right here. A1 by A2 is not equal to B1 by B2. So in such case when A1 by A2 is not equal to B1 by B2, then it is intersecting and it has one solution. In second case, we have seen that a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 is equal to c1 by c2. In that case, it is coincident and it has infinite solution. In this case, we have seen that a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2, but it is not equal to c1 by c2. Then it is parallel and no solution. Let me repeat, if a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2, then it is intersecting and it has one solution, only one, please note. If a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 is equal to c1 by c2, that means we are talking about same line because all are equal. That is, it will be coincident, it will have infinite solution. Once it is coincident, it will have infinite solution because there are so many points which are common to both the lines. If a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2, but it is not equal to c1 by c2, that means both the lines are parallel and they will never meet, so no solution. Please understand. If a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2, then slope of the lines are same. Slopes and all we will learn in the higher classes. Just try to understand the inclination of the lines are same. So if in this case, the a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2, the inclination is same, but c1 by c2 is not same. That means both are apart from each other. Both are apart from each other like this. So they will be parallel and they will never be. If a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2, that means the lines are not parallel. They are like this. So somewhere they will meet somewhere they will meet. So, they will be intersecting and if everything is same a1 by a2, b1 by a2 and c1 by c2 that means we are talking about same line and in that case they will be coincident and infinite solution. So, please learn this, it will be used. Let me repeat once again, if a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2 that means both the lines are intersecting and you have one solution. If a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 is equal to c1 by c2 all are same that means we are talking about same line, both lines are coincident and it has infinite solutions. If a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 but not equal to c1 by c2, then both the lines are parallel and there is no solution. Let's come.